yeah, 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 woo! Yep, we're back. Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am, I guess. It's Sunday, um, Sunday night. It's been kind of a wet, miserable kind of day, you know? It's not, the weather has not been good, except for like one day, you know? And it was like literally 75 degrees in the middle of January. <laughs> we're so fucked. Uh, but today we're gonna be listening to Rush, once again. And we are here courtesy of our supporter and patron, Michael B. Thank you very much for your support, brother. You rock. Uh, you really, really do. Thank you. And we're going back to the album Counterparts from 1993. Um, I think we did stick it out a couple months ago from this album. Absolutely love that track. It was so cool hearing that different uh, version of Rush, basically. And uh, we're going to be listening to Animate. There's no video for this one. It is just a socket. That's cool. All right. Well, let's get right into it. If you guys are not subscribed, help a brother out. Click that icon somewhere down there. Buy the zombies. Really helps channel out. If you want to see more Rush, click subscribe. At the end, All right. Here we go. Animates by Rush. Three, two, one. that rip. Alex and Getty are always just perfect units. And then Neil's just back there holding it down. Wow, this is such a different side of them, once again. It's so almost sorrowful sounding. Here I say I heard like a little sound garden or something. Getting a real sense of like melancholy from this. I don't know why. Cause that's the 90s for you. This came out eight months before I was born.
his fucking bass tone, bro. Every time. It's absolutely just perfect every time. Okay. I always love Neil's simple work, man, and they always sound so crisp. There's so many of them on his bin. Yeti. Oh, those synths too. Wow, man. Very emotional. I mean, that's just me. I don't know. Wow, that just left me like just brimming with so many thoughts and a little bit of inspiration. I love Rush, man. They're so good. Like every decade, man, there's just something they change with the times and it, it, it just works. It seems like almost every time I heard some grunge in there because I definitely heard that kind of like dark melancholy from like almost like Soundgarden or Alice in Chains in there. Even though I know this is 93 and, you know, the, the grunge movement, I think, started in, like, 89 and, you know, didn't really get big till like, I don't know, the early, early 90s? I don't know. But I definitely heard a little bit of that dark undertone in there and it was very, not sad, but it definitely did feel kind of sad. Um, you know, he kept saying, like, criticize me, animate me. You know, he kept just saying, like, do things to me. I, and I was trying to think about, like, what was he getting at? Like, what was the angle? And... I don't know, it just kind of felt like the things that you just go through as a person in your life, there's so many things that our brain can't even hold, probably all the information that it, it takes in, in an entire lifetime, say you live 60 years, it's a lot of memory that your brain has to, you know, hold, it's just like you think of it like a computer, you know, your computer, you know, fills up eventually, and I, I don't know, and I just feel like we go through so much in our lives that we just forget three-fourths of it, and um, we just kind of keep on living. And, um, I don't know. I feel like we just need to take a second sometimes, stop, and just, you know, take a breath and analyze where we've been doing. Uh, but that was great. Obviously, um, Getty, uh, space tone is just literally superb every time. I, I don't care what song. I it's never been anything less than stellar. And it just adds so much life and vibrancy to the sound. Like, it's just so bubbly and bouncy and just... The whole like uh, lower register is just owned by Getty. <laughs> it really is. Um, then you have Neil like uh, the, his symbol work and the crashes in this were so good sounding and like he's got I know in his kit he's got so many of them up there, and um, it, he just has like the right crash or just right sound for every section every measure. Like he's just so precise with what he does, man. And his fills are so tight. Um, it's almost like a machine. It seems like sometimes I swear to God he's like a human drum machine. It feels like. And uh, after watching that solo in Frankfurt, like, that blew my mind. Like, I knew he was, like, a god back there on the drums, but, oh my goodness, that uh, that solo literally blew me away. And it's, I think, to this day, might be the best solo I still have seen. And people have been sending me new ones trying to beat that, that comment there, saying it's the best. So, maybe it won't be, maybe it'll stay there, I don't know. But right now, I think it's still number one. And, uh, yeah, this is great, man. Alex is like kind of dissonant riffs and chords he was doing here to kind of like, you know, be the backbone of the song almost. Um, I felt like that was him and Getty's bass kind of just trading off. And, um, it kind of, I think that's what really added the sense of melancholy and everything was his guitar playing in this. And, uh, it was superb. The chords and stuff he was going for and those kind of just, you know, nostalgic feeling, teenager almost sort of feeling feelings that's kind of what i got from it really strong emotion 
especially towards the end, I got this really big wave of emotion. I don't know if it's just because I love Rush or that's what the song was trying to do. I don't know, but that's how I felt there at the end. And I don't know, man, it just, uh, I love how their songs always get me thinking and, you know, just it inspires me to know that a band lasted as long as they did and they were as good as they were for as long as they were. Um, God bless them, man. Seriously. They are just, and they're all just such nice guys too. Apparently, I uh, heard that, you know, Neil has his moments, but who doesn't, you know, I've got my moments. All you guys see is me on a camera. You don't see me the rest of the day. I'm definitely not this um, cheery and happy for the rest of the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got my moments just like everybody does. But um, these, this is one hell of a trio guy. I mean, like, it's insane. The, the output that they put out throughout the years, just them three. And uh, I hear some of their music and it, it still blows my mind to think that it's just three guys. Just three dudes, just normal guys. Like you watch them on stage and just wear normal clothes and stuff. I know, I know Neil decks out a little bit sometimes. He's a little flashy, but I mean, other than that, man, like they all just normal looking chaps, you know what I mean? And um, I'd hang out with them if they were, you know, if I could, if I was around back then and in their prime, seeing them in the shows, like you guys tell me that you have been doing and stuff like that. It, it's, um, I wish I could have been there. And uh, thank you again, Mike, for the donation and the request. I really appreciate you, bro. Seriously, you come through. And um, I can never thank you all enough, seriously. And uh, if you got any other Rush tracks we should check out, please leave them below. We'll definitely do more by them. Uh, it's, just, it's just superb work. I don't think I've heard a bad song yet. I keep saying that, but then y'all keep saying they do have a bad song, and I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll actually listen to it and uh, let you know what I think about it. Uh, but I think that's it out of me, guys. Uh, that's another one in the books. Man, I can't believe it all started with La Via Strangato, Strangato, however, however, however you pronounce it. Um, God, that always gives me a tongue twister. Uh, that song literally just sparked off my uh, rush, rush. And um, I don't know, man. I think we're like 30 or 40 songs deep in now. And I love these guys so much. And I'm very uh, appreciative of all the fans that have been here since the beginning and have been you know stuck with me and helped me along the way and uh i know i don't do them as much as i used to but i just have so many bands to do now that it's impossible to like just feature a band every week except for like you know zappa and steely dan and stuff because i've got like days dedicated to them but maybe i should do a rush day i don't know let me know what you think um if you guys didn't know we have a patreon right here uh, we are almost at 200 members, bro. It's making me laugh when I say it, but it's insane. And we also got our first $100 alpha member. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Seriously though, thank you so much, guys. Like I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just just so I'm just so gracious and so full of gratitude that we've even gotten this far. And um, hopefully we keep going because this is a dream come true. Even though it's like we're not even like doing nothing crazy here. I just enjoy listening to music. I enjoy conversating and communicating with y'all and learning about the music's history and just getting cultured, you know? Because before all this, I definitely was uncultured swine, as I said in the Beatles video uh, yesterday. Um, it's just been a complete 180 on everything just because of this channel and you guys. So thank you very much for that. And uh, if you want one free request a month, join the $10 Super Patron tier or up and you get one video a month. And uh, if you don't like Patreon, there's a PayPal link in the description. If you want to send a request in like Mike did, um, that's the way to do it. Just uh, send the name of the song and the name of the artist, and I will get it done for you as soon as possible. 